I guess I came on this show with, uh, with one goal in mind, and that was for a time for personal reflection and to face a challenge at hand and see how well I could do. Uh, it was a test of integrity. Uh, it was a test of both my physical and mental strength. And uh, under that criteria, I'm quite happy on how I did. Uh, I'm on the jury. That's not too shabby. You know, it's, it would have been nice to make it to the final four, but that didn't happen. Um, you know, I made some decisions along the way. I'm sure those will be criticized. I picked my own tribe, but I wouldn't think I'd be able to do a little bit better with, uh, with having that luxury. Um, I made an alliance, and I stuck to it. I stuck to my word, and, uh, and I have no regrets. Things fall. I wish the best for everybody out there. Uh, I'm sure we will be, or I will be seeing some of them in in the near future, back home, and uh, it's friendships built and experiences had. And I think, uh, you know, on closing terms, there's a great uh, Nepalese saying that goes, uh, "K garne, ne parne," and uh, it means you know, what to do. And uh, I'm here right now, and I'm hungry, and it's uh, it's food time. So take care. To be the first person on the jury is quite an, quite an accomplishment. Uh, I get a say in who will get uh, the final million dollar prize. I have a good idea of, of the remaining eight individuals, and uh, I think a lot of them are are fantastic and have fantastic qualities. And uh, I'm glad I made it far enough to have an impact, and uh, it will be an impact that's felt fully in somebody's life and uh, so you know it's between that and also you know my smiling face is going to be on the television from now until the end of the show and uh, you got to be kind of happy about that I think everybody out there uh, you know is, wish the best of luck Alex is a remarkable individual I look forward to seeing him in Los Angeles Butch um, we've kind of always shared a special bond special team um, and uh, I hope to get some of his his home cooking and, and both, you know, Jenna, first ever blind date, gorgeous bikini model, saw her naked on the pedestal. I mean, that's, you can't beat that. And, uh, and Heidi, same thing, super attractive, super cool, level head. They both are going places. Um, Dean is another one that, that you know, man, I, I never meet her and she's in Riverside right down the road, so I'll have to tag up with her again. Um, you know, it's, I wish the, the best of luck to all of them, and uh, I really hope, I really hope to see uh, either Jenna, Dina, or Heidi in the finals. I think uh, I've talked to them in the past about what they want to do with uh, with their million dollar prize. I think it's it's all amiable, it's all honorable, and uh, I think that they're the kind of people who want to give back to society, and uh, and that's what it's all about. And, and also, Christy, forgot to mention Christy. She's Amazing. She's setting a tremendous example for uh, for people with disabilities to show them that that they can get out there and do it. And I, I, yeah, it's unbelievable. She blows my mind. We spent last night taught her a little bit of uh, the physics behind airplanes. Hope that she'll be able to use that someday. And after that, we did a little swing dancing. We got a little, got a, got a little groovy, a little jiggy in the moonlight. And uh, I hope I, I plan on keeping in touch with her. She'll be an uh, interesting one to see how well she does in this game. Certainly, uh, an experience like this is, is going to change one's personality and, and, and views towards the world. Um, to take back and go to, to, to square one, to go for minimal, minimalist nature, nothing, and survive with a group of people you've never met, it's you know, horrible and adverse physical and mental conditions. And to do this well, I, I really think it's a, it's a great accomplishment for myself. Um, for me, for me, I, I have learned uh, I've learned to be you know, decision making and being decisive and going with the heart. Um, you know, I think that that Roger's a remarkable person, and I think he has a, a lot to teach. I think at times he's a little too opinionated and uh, strikes uh, strikes some nerves. But that's who that's who I thought could get me far, and, and that's how the ball rolls. So. I think uh, you know all these all these these personal interrelations are, are going to be have an impact on me, and, and I'm going to have a better appreciation on on the world and all the luxuries that it has once uh, once I get back home. I've learned two things out of this experience. Uh, one is to better appreciate the luxuries of home and family, 
and uh, things like supermarkets and, and buying food and, and packaged Cheetos and, and beer. And uh, on the other hand, you know, how to, how to follow your heart and stick with your decisions. And, you know, they might not get you as far as you want, but as long as you follow your heart and, uh, and stay to your guns, at least, you know, you get booted, you'll still feel good, good about yourself. And uh, I'm happy I made it this far and uh, looking forward to see how well the rest of the group does. I think without, uh, without any further ado, the, uh, the two words that uh, I hope will, will be carried throughout the, the Voice of America, I need a big shout out, I need a big booyah to all those, uh, those family viewers out there.